gang. This is Eric Andreas with your Guitar Stage and today we're going to learn how to play Crocodile Rock by Elton John. Love this tune. Loved it when I was a little tyke and I love it now. I'm going to teach it to you. The song is in standard tuning. It's in 4-4 four, four. so like one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four and it's in the key of G. I'm looking at my chart here on my screen with all my chords. It's in the key of G. And what else can I tell you about it? No capo. And yeah, that's it. Here are the chords that we're going to know that we're going to need to know to play this song. G E minor C D B minor, there's a ton of chords in this one, E major, A7, D7, and that's it. Dude, that was like six or seven chords. So uh, unlike a lot of songs that are only two or th three or four chords maybe, um, this one has a few more. So here we go. It's going to go something like this. I don't know the lyrics. That's my little preemptive thing that I say all the time because there's always some clown pants who messages me and says, you don't know the lyrics, which is why I have my Your Lyric Sage channel, not Your Guitar Sage. This is for guitar lessons. Here we go. It's going to go something like this. Um, intro. E minor. We'll stop right there. Slow it down a bit. Talk about the chords, talk about the rhythm changes, talk about the strum and all that good stuff. I said I was looking at my chart here on my screen because I chart everything out, then I hand it to my student, and then they know how to play it, and they can read this and super easy. If you don't know how to read charts or do you want to see a copy of this, go to yourguitarsage.com. Um, get ebook one and then you'll be privy to these little handwritten charts that I write for my students. It makes it super easy to learn this stuff um, and the chords are right as opposed to some other places you might be checking around on the internet. Okay, so um, let's talk about it. Alright, so you know, it was, like I said here, in the intro and the chorus we've got uh, G, E minor, C, and D. So we're going like That's how you're counting, right? And um, and that's the intro and all the choruses. So the verses are G, G, so two G's in a row, D minor, D minor, C, C, and D, D. And then you repeat that whole thing twice for the verses. And the pre-chorus we said was two measures of E minor, two measures of A7, which you could play either this way 
or this way. D set two measures of D7, two measures of G, two measures of E major, two measures of A7, two measures of D7, two measures of C. The fade that's at the end of the song is the same as the intro and the chorus. Okay, so I don't need to show you that again. So basically, there's three parts. Intro, chorus, slash, fade, which is one part. Intro, chorus, and fade. One part. Then there's the verses, and then there's the pre-chorus. Okay, and I just showed all three of those to you. So, now let's talk about the rhythm, because you probably saw me do a few different little funky things in there. Um, the first rhythm, that I'm doing during the verse there is this um, um, which if you've seen any of my other videos you'll know that that is like one of the top rhythms that you're gonna find in pop rock and country music and it goes one two and and four and one two and and four for those of you that don't know down and up beats then it's down down up up, down, up. Okay. I don't like teaching that way because it doesn't say, it just says what the strum is. It doesn't say what the beat is. So typically down beats we strum down and up beats we strum up. Okay. Um, for a detailed bit about rhythms, if you're having a problem with rhythms and strumming and stuff like that, go to your guitar stage, get ebook one, and it will help a ton with the, um, with your strumming and the battery of, um, different rhythms that I have set up there and how to play them. Okay, so check that out. All right, so that's the rhythm that I'm using. One, two, and, and four, and. You can just take a, just mute your chord like this, mute your uh, neck, and go one, two, and, and four, and. Once you get that rhythm down, obviously you may be a little bit slower at first. That's old. Okay, and then as you get faster, you speed it up and more confident. And then after a chord in there, work on one chord and then work on the second chord. Actually, that was the wrong chord progression. It should have been a B minor there. Get it? So that's that rhythm. We're going to use that same rhythm for the intro, verse, and pre chorus. Or intro, verse, and pre chorus, yeah. But then for the choruses, I'm doing this cool little, um, it's the same thing that, that uh, Elton John's guitar player does in there. Um, but it's like a, came from the first time I heard it was in the 50s. There was a, not that I was alive in the 50s. Um, but it, uh, kind of strum and basically what you're doing is is you are raking across the strings instead of just going bam like that you're going so like and you get that vibe kind of thing going on there so if I just do one one chord it's gonna sound like this right so just let your pick kind of scrape across all the strings slowly, kind of dig in a little. And then the rhythm is. So I'm hitting a, a low note and then a strum or a rake and then an upbeat, up strum. And that is it as far as the strumming. So we got both of the strums, you got all the chords, all that good stuff. If you have any questions on any of this, all this stuff is covered in ebook one. So go get it. Your Guitar Sage, out.